here for the giveaway. What's going on, my comic chat army? We're back with another review. The background is different. It's showing off a little bit of our pop collection. And if y'all tune in Saturday, we are giving away, make sure I grab the right one. We're gonna be giving these away to y'all. Yeah, two pops, which are gonna win Saturday on our little YouTube live stream. And we're gonna be redoing this whole backdrop behind us. Yup, but today, the reason that 90% of you are here, to win the signed ash cans. Tell them what they can do, baby. Or do you wanna wait till the end of the video and tell them? Wait till the end of the video so y'all can see how you win these two ash cans from Brian Silverbacks' first comic book. I think he writ, draw, and uh, made by himself. Yep. Loggerhead, The Bloody Bayou. We even got a copy back here. Yep. So these two are y'all's. Yep. Put that right there so y'all remember where y'all watching it. <laughs> All right. What'd you read, baby? What did I read? I read a lot. This got sent to us from old guys who like yeah. old comics. Or Yeet. I yeah. don't know. They got a group called Yeet, but they also go by old guys that like old comics. Yes. I don't know. One of y'all cleared it up in the comments for me last time. So I'm just going to say them both to protect myself. And my thumbs up and thumbs down button. So, first thing, when we first got this book, you will notice that it has two covers so there's two stories or so we thought there was two <laughs> stories yes started reading it and come to find out there's like what was it five or six short stories in it yep we are going to be re revisiting this these this book so she's going to tell you a couple that she read today to clear up our 100 reviews yeah let's get a clap for that yeah <laughs> clap with me baby yeah uh, i know i wanted like little party hats and everything little horn blowers and everything yeah so talk about the review so this one that i read was about princess marshmallow the thing i love about this book is the feeling of the pages are like your old sunday comic books comics in the newspapers or the old comics that you'd read yeah which i i love that we got the smell yeah I, speaking of smelling comics it's not as weird as some of you might think <laughs> i was at a comic convention one time and a guy was smelling comics and he was telling me about it he was like you don't get your nose to touch the paper because the grease from your nose to get on the comic pages but he just loved the smell of old comics and he would just be like over there getting books and just like mm -hmm. yep i'll buy this one like i don't know what he did after he got home but it was i thought it was normal so it's normal to me so this is a kind of japanese comic book take about a girl princess marshmallow who has special powers and goes on an adventure with a talking dove i think he's a talking dove yes a talking dove to take down a bunny who robs a bank so that's pretty much that it's a very short story uh i i'd like to know if there's more little short stories to her join their group because i think they'll send you this one free if they're still doing it because of the whole quarantine which this one is it was just gonna say this is about a doctor named alex alec anderson and it's about He's a science doctor who ends up creating and this gas or something like that, but ends up losing. The government ends up taking his money away and his funds of what he's trying to create and his, I don't even know what it's called. I can't even pronounce it, but it's like this special gas that he had oh. invented. Long story short, it's about everything kind of what we're going through and we've kind of come across comics a lot lately about this about you know um wars and just greedy politicians and how we're heading global warming all of that pollution how we're just heading for the end of the world and that's kind of what that story that take on about that specific story which is called Ciderol. i hope i'm saying that right these guys must have seen the future because this was out in february and i think the first coronavirus outbreak no that was March. in december what the first coronavirus was broke oh. out in december well, see, I thought time travelers. Hey. <laughs> um but that's really what that's about and how 
he gets into an accident and ends up getting superpowers from this gas that he created. So that's basically what that's about. Is that the two that you read? I read that and then I read this one, which. Yes! Yes. <laughs> which that's the name of the group, also. A Wolverine McAllister Adventure. Basically, all I could really got from this was he discovered this, it looks like a bean to me, and it just takes him on this weird adventure through this forest and the water and all sorts of stuff like that. But I thought it was pretty cool that they have so many little mini stories. It's kind of a variety. You have the superheroes and yeah. just, I mean, a, just a bunch of different stuff. For so. five bucks, it says on it, you can't beat it. And the art's really good. It just has that old feel to it. It does. Doesn't it? Def definitely feels different than what I got. <laughs> <laughs> what do you have, honey? I have Homeless Homeboy from <laughs> Hold That Down, Bruh Comics. Can't make, I'm not making this up. <laughs> That's the name of the comics. And you can pick this book up for $5 and number two for 10 I'm going to show you the, the panel here in a minute. Here, show them that one while I read it off. Canine the Hunter. That. When you subscribe to the website, all posters are $5. Uh, H oh, Homeless Homeboy 3 is coming soon. That's yep. the card. So I read Homeless Homeboy. And don't judge a book by its cover. The art on the front kind of didn't look that great. But when you actually open the book, there was some pretty good stuff in there. So it's about this guy named Terrence just going through a rough patch in his life. And the other guy, Ralph, let me just show you some pictures of it. It's like an oversized book. Going through a rough patch in his life. And Terrence becomes homeless and going becomes homeless and goes to like meets up like his homeboy finds him sleeping behind a gas station and his homeboy takes him to the homeless homeless heaven homeless like sanctuary they call it and ralph is a garbage man who wants to get more he's been with this company for 20 years dumping trash and he deserves a raise and they're like nah but i can give you a raise either quit or do your job so he picks up another shift two guys a bunch of guys beat him and he gets some mysterious powers from the trash and becomes black trash. It's an oversized book, so that's why I'm fumbling with it. And Terrence becomes Homeless Homeboy. Definitely a very different, unique book. Right? Very, very different. Uh, I would pick it up if you're interested in it. It's kind of cool. I mean, it's, it's your superhero -y book, but it's got like real world problems in it about getting homeless i mean getting kicked out kind of being stereotyped dude was like oh you're a rapper so i'm assuming that you smoke weed so he kicked him out for that and he lost his job for stealing cheeseburgers so all of us can relate to that i've noticed with a lot of the books we've been reviewing we've had a lot of books that you can relate to oh yeah you notice that yeah because i mean i like to see people make books that you can relate to people. Like, you can't relate to Captain America, Iron Man, exactly. a little bit of Spider-Man because the whole puberty and the things he's juggling, but we're not gonna walk outside, get hit by a meteor and become the next whatever. <laughs> like, it's not a thing. No. But when they have real problems like Iron Man's drinking problem, you can, they feel real. So, y'all, yeah. I know y'all stay tuned to figure out how to read win these books and my camera's dying so like comment and subscribe and we will pick one of y'all saturday live to comment, win one of these books comment what you enjoyed the most that we've reviewed out of these first hundred books yep. that we've reviewed that's what we want you to comment below then we're going to do our top 10 favorite books and then we're on to the next 100 thank you guys Bye.